Hey, you're listening to 91.1 The Avenue. This is Anne, and this is The Avenue's Mile of Music coverage, made possible with support from Nicolay Bank and from U.S. Venture. Additional support comes from Dodd Home Safety. Dodd Home Safety performs home safety assessments, provides and installs the recommended equipment, and trains everyone on how to keep loved ones safe and independent in their own homes. More information at DodHomeSafety.com. We are talking about Mile of Music number 10 with none other than Mr. Mile of Music himself, famous in Appleton, Jamie Kent. Oh, it's good to be here. Home away from home. There you go, James. The question is, the question on everyone's mind, how many servings of cheese curds have you had? Well, I mean... (laughs) What is not not in your lifetime? What is it? What just is, this trip? <laughs> oh, just this trip. Only two so far, which I I feel a little ashamed about because I've been here over twelve hours. But you know, I, I have plenty of time to catch up. <laughs> All right, we'll check back <laughs> with you on this important yes, mile cur- of music statistic. My curd tracker is available uh, on jamiekent.com. <laughs> So, James, as a a Mile of Music veteran, what number Mile of Music is this for you? I believe this makes uh, my eighth mile. Impressive. I missed the first one, and then I missed the one as we inched back from COVID. That was really kind of a a half. Yeah. 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 So we'll we'll say eight and a half. It's my eighth and a half mile. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) Eight out of nine and a half miles. Yes, exactly. There you go. It's the... it's pretty special, and every every one of them has been magical uh, in a different way. And it's just pretty crazy to look back at these last ten years and the the journey I've been on, the journey Miles been on, we've all been on sort of together. And uh, and true, how I, I mean, what has changed for you, or how has being involved with Mile of Music um, affected your career? You know, I I think that. Um, Mile is sort of an amazing microcosm for my career as as I grew from playing solo acoustic to f- uh, with a full band and had the opportunity to go from uh, a packed room at McGinnis my first year uh, to uh, Houdini Plaza with the band completely full and this year at Jones Park with the band again. Uh, and then the, the Mile folks really uh, sort of honoring and respecting my love for wearing many hats as an artist and a promoter and uh, partnering with like folks at Bose and Gary Barth, the peace man to, to bring Nashville artists and do a peace love in Nashville stage at spats for a couple of years. And And this year you can find that at the Lawrence Lawrence lawn Lawn will be there on Saturday Saturday. all day. Uh, We did the tiny house listening lounge with Bose there. one. That was really cool. So it's really been an amazing journey. Every year has been a little different, but every year is magical and there's truly no other live music experience like mile. Well, I want to um, punctuate that is that not only has Jamie, those of you who may not know, not only has Jamie played at the mile, but you've been a big part of curating artists to come up here um, You've been a champion for the Mile of Music, as well as for this station. It is because of Jamie that Mile of Music appeared in the Rolling Stone last year. You um, you know, you are much more than just a musician and a goodwill ambassador. You know, you bring a lot of entrepreneurial um, energy to this effort. And um, just um, on behalf of Appleton and Mile and the music community here, thank you. Well, it's my honor and it's it's been an honor to be welcomed uh, into Appleton like family and to, to grow together. And, you know, what good people doing good things together usually have good outcomes, I think. For sure. Uh, you're certainly an example of that. Um, we got a couple of things I want to talk with you about. Um, speaking about being family, we claim you as part of the Avenue family. Um, last year, you did a our Christmas on the Avenue show with um, somebody, um, you know, I don't know, somebody named Dan Rodriguez. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've heard of him, but, you know, he's, he, he might also be, you know, mildly famous in Appleton. <laughs> <laughs> so that Christmas show, um, you know, it took a couple of weeks to recover from that. It was so good in every way. So good as a matter of fact that... Um, you know, we decided to do it again. Yeah, we did. Uh, so uh, you're hearing it here first and officially. 
James, would you like to do the honors? Yes, that's right. I believe Thursday, December 14th, Dan and I are returning for Christmas on the Avenue Part 2. And, uh, you know, we're ta- thinking, how can we make it even bigger and better? So we're going to have uh, Dan's band backing us and the similar uh, array of special guests. And we're going to, it's going to be an amazing dynamic show. Uh, we're auditioning for uh, Kurdette background singers there you uh, go. right <laughs> now. Uh, if you're out there and you would like to wear a cheese curd costume and sing background vocals, <laughs> This is your opportunity. <laughs> so, yes, the guys will be back. You're hearing it here first. Um, and they're promising bigger, better, and um, more curds per uh, capita, per, capita. <laughs> per hour. I don't know what that means, but I do know it is not to be missed. And we are offering tickets to Mile of Music um, people first and um, tell them how they can get their tickets Jamie if they want to get them during Mile of Music I believe there's an exclusive pre-sale for Mile of Music attendees this weekend only Thursday Friday Saturday online with the code mile 23 or in person at the PAC on Thursday and Friday while the box office is open if you want to avoid the fees there there you go that's right Christmas on the Avenue uh, 2023 December 14th at the Fox City's PAC if you want to pick up your be the first to pick up your tickets you may do so um, online Thursday Friday or Saturday using mile 23 to purchase tickets or you know head down to the PAC and uh, and um, if you're out and about at mile of music and pick those up we have you back because you're kind of famous around these parts and uh, well you maybe know. infamous I don't know so. well there's that you know that's your next song that's right <laughs> infamous in Appleton <laughs> yeah, it's the encore well thanks a lot for giving us the first shot at playing um, the song you wrote specifically about Appleton and your your mile of music experiences here talk a little bit about famous in Appleton yeah you know I think having played this for eight years I I really started you know I felt it personally but then you know, while you're hanging with the artists in the in the green room area, or after the fact, uh, recalling amazing mile moments, it started to be this shared sentiment of, oh, you know, we feel feel famous for a weekend when you go up there, or when you know, f- random folks are like, why are all of these amazing artists touring through Appleton, Wisconsin? I, I don't know. And you're like, well, we go up there and we feel famous for a weekend, and. Uh, and the, there is this really shared sentiment. And so I heard it enough that I was like, one night after a few whiskeys, I was like, I think I'm going to write that song. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is what makes Mile of Music special is the proximity um, that audiences can have to the artist, which is different than a other festival where, you know, there's like a couple of big main stages and All the artists stay corralled, you know, Mm -hmm. behind the scenes. And, you know, here at Mile of Music, one of the really cool things is all the stages are are small and very accessible. And all the artists are put up, or most of the artists are put up right downtown. So you see people roaming around and you get to have that, um, those conversations and maybe a drink, uh, Mm -hmm. you know. We got to have you play a song, Jamie. I, well, I guess since I officially released Famous in Appleton this week on on a Tuesday, it sounds like a Tuesday, you know, uh, I, I, should prob- <laughs> I should probably play it. If you know, you know. That's right. <laughs> Consult that Mile of Music app or pick up a printed schedules downtown and Jamie Kent. <laughs> we'll see you out there, y'all. Sometimes it feels like I'm swimming upstream But I keep on trucking, chasing the dream Too little money and too little sleep Some days, oh, it feels like the beginning But some days, oh, it feels like I'm winning Cause my mom says I'm special My wife plays along, friends come for the beer and put up with the songs. But there's still a few cities where the crowd sings along. I'm no Bruce, but I'm still having fun. 
And I'm famous in Appleton Oh, where the people, they listen Then sing the refrain Where they buy all the merch Chant your bass player's name Where the cheese curds Lord almighty, they reign Is this heaven I've stumbled upon? Now you guessed it It's Appleton Oh, my mom says I'm special My wife plays along Friends come for the beer And put up with the songs But there's still a few cities Where the crowd sings along I'm no willy But I'm really having fun And I'm famous in Appleton Oh, the miles and miles and miles of music 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 The mom says I'm special My wife plays along Friends come for the beer And put up with the songs But there's still a few cities When the crowd sings along, I'm no Winnie, but I'm really having fun. And I'm famous in Appleton. One more time for the people of Nina. Oh, my mom says I'm special. My wife plays along. Friends come for the beer and put up with the songs. But there's still a few cities where the crowd sings along. I'm no Dan Rodriguez. But I'm having fun And I'm famous in Appleton Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>